just want to welcome everybody once again. Thank you very much for coming to the final MAC event of the year, Milford Area Chamber of Commerce. This is our Government Affairs Luncheon, in case you went to the wrong event. Um, this is our power lunch for the Milford Area. We're all looking forward to 2014, a lot of exciting things coming up. And we're very excited and very honored to have a wonderful group of, uh, of our state legislators are here to uh, help us out. And we had an excellent um, meeting in the room next door. There was uh, a lot of uh, really interesting comments. And um, once again, that's what this is all about with the Chamber of Commerce. It's about putting people together, and in this case, business, and of course, our state officials. We have to work together. We have to continue working together, of course. Um, a lot of challenging times for small business owners, especially with our membership. And uh, we've certainly seen that this year. We, uh, we've had a very successful year. It's kind of a mini report, my final mini report. Um, 2013 certainly was challenging for the MAC, but um, we did come out very well. Once again, I want to thank everybody for the support for the auction, this year's auction. We went over $41,000. Um, tremendous. Thank you very much. And um, we have a wonderful board of directors that definitely kept me in line and made sure that everything was going well. And um, we're, we're definitely very positive about 2013. I think we'll be even more positive about 2014. Um, we had some excellent events this year. And um, we ended on a very strong note. Membership is up. And um, we've held our own. So considering all the challenges around in the area, we really all just want to thank all of you. Um, a lot of our members in here today, uh, friends from the press, of course, and of course, all of our state legislators. So once again, thank you. Um, I did want to also thank, where'd she go? Yeah. Where are you hiding right there? I just want to give, uh, again, let's ask for a big round of applause for Laura Callahan. She's done a wonderful job this year. <laughs> Laura, of course, uh, keeps me in line very well. And um, we've had a wonderful relationship all these years. And um, she knows that uh, I'm going to miss her. I don't know how much she's going to miss me. but. We've had uh, a lot of the success, of course, of the Chamber is, in, is due in large part to Laura Callahan. So again, um, you guys are in very good hands. We're going to be talking about that very soon as well. But um, anyway, I don't want to say more because we're going to get upset. <laughs> going to cry. I um, also want to say happy birthday to Callan. I think Callan's out there hiding. Callan here also has been helping us a lot. Tremendous job uh, with Callan. Um, helping us with all the different events. So I did want to point out, we have a wonderful group of speakers. They're going to be coming up onto the, uh, onto the stage here. We have our state senators, Karen Spoka, Richard Ross, and Richard Moore. Our state representatives, we have John Fernandez, Kevin Karras, and Jeff Roy. Uh, David Linsky was planning on coming, but he did have a, a death in the family, so unfortunately David couldn't make it. And um, also we're going to have up here, um, sharing some information with us, uh, Jessica, Jessica Strunken who's the um, Deputy Director of the 495 Partnership. Very good friend of mine, and um, we have a wonderful relationship with the partnership, of course, with Jess and Paul. And um, that's what it's about, again. They, they do some great work. We're going to talk about that in a minute, about just really promoting business and quality of life throughout the whole Metro West area. Um, and of course, you can look right there in front of me. We must thank our sponsors today, um, Wilford National Bank, Kristen is here. Thank you to Kristen Cavallo and Shafari. Thank you very much. Um, Waters, of course, is here. A wonderful lady, of course, Doreen Trottier, who has just been an unbelievable support in the chamber, especially with our auctions. Doreen is here. Jeff is here. Um, thank you very much. And oh, there's, there's Tom here. Look at that. I was blinded by Laura's striped thing over there. <laughs> so thank you again to Waters. Monica Carl is here. Mike Murphy. Was Mike over there? Jeff, that's it, too. Um, Preventa Radcliffe, Lindsay, Elaine Lindsay is here as well. Where's Elaine? There you are. Elaine is uh, the one that made sure that uh, I'm not embezzling any money going to Peru with all the Chamber's reserves. Um, does a wonderful job. <laughs> as if there's a lot there anyway. But um, Consigli also, thank you very much. John is here, John Tessicini, uh, former treasurer of our board of directors. Thank you again for all your support with Consigli. Milford Regional, of course, everybody's favorite hospital. We have uh, Martin is here, Martin Richmond. I have to call him Dr. Richmond, although he's not a doctor. <laughs> Frank Sable is here as well, of course. Thank you very much to Frank and uh, some other folks from Milford Regional. 
Uh, we have a wonderful relationship with Milford Regional, and I'm sure we're going to continue that as well. And of course, you hear my beautiful voice because of David Price. David Price with Bright Star. He always takes care of the sound system. He's a wonderful guy, hardest working guy. He is unbelievable. He's done some great things this year, not just because he can carry sound, sound system speakers around, but um, he's very uh, involved, of course, in the search committee. We're going to talk about that in a minute as well. So thank you once again to all of our corporate sp uh, sponsors. Very much appreciated. Because of you, we're going to have a very good year, 2013. And I'm sure 2014 will continue as well. <laughs> that was exhausting. That's enough. <laughs> all right, so now what we have to do is we're going to have um, Michael. Mike Kell, of course, is our chairman of the board for 2013. He's very happy because he's almost done. Um, so Michael and I will be uh, passing the gavel, as we say, on to uh, other people that are uh, looking forward to it, I would say, we hope. So I'm going to ask Michael to come up and also Shafari. Shafari Desai, of course, is our chair elect. Shafari will be taking over um, in January. Have both of you come up. And um, we just want to show our appreciation to Michael first. We've got a lot of plaques and things we're going to be giving away. But, um, on my behalf, it, it, it has been a wonderful year. I know I uh, created a lot of work for the board by uh, making my decision about leaving the chamber. Um, didn't want you guys to have to have uh, all that work, a lot of hours. People forget that they actually have real jobs, not just the chamber. And um, the commitment to the chamber has been uh, extraordinary. They are, they are committed to uh, the business community, the business area, and uh, you guys are going to be in wonderful hands. So I just want to thank Michael again for, for, for working with me, for putting up with me for this last year. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. And I think we're both going to be uh, a lot more relaxed <laughs> come January. So Shafari, you want to? Thank you very much. Um, you know, I stood on this very podium uh, about a year ago at the Governmental Affairs Luncheon. Uh, we had Congressman Kennedy here, and uh, it was the, the first uh, speech that I had to make uh, as the chairman of the board. And it's fit very fitting that we, we end the year in, in the, same, the very same room, the very same podium, with, the, with many of the same people here. Um, this has been one of the most incredible years of my professional career. Um, you know, I didn't ask to do this. Uh, somebody uh, uh, volunteered me, and I've learned in my life um, that when somebody asks you to be of service, that it's my obligation to say yes and to do the best, do it to the best of my ability. And I hope I've done that today and this year. Um, this has been an exciting year. It's been a challenging year, as you all know. We've had the uh, we've had many uh, contentious issues to deal with as the year went on, and we certainly. Uh, uh, felt a great void open when, when Barry gave his, uh, his uh, resignation. Uh, we, the board of the MAC, uh, are thankful that he was able to continue to serve the members uh, over this transition period. Um, when I was here again back in January, I made the point of, of, of identifying that there are two types of board members. There are sitters and there are servers. And I can tell you, I can look out and, and tell you with 100% accuracy and gratitude that uh, this, I have been surrounded by some of the most incredible servers uh, that I have I've ever, ever met in my life. Uh, to the entire board, thank you so much. And specifically to the recruitment and to the selection committee uh, that helped successfully, I'd like to make the announcement, successfully find uh, a new person to take over the reins uh, of the Milford Area Chamber of Commerce effective uh, uh, in January. Uh, to those uh, specific members, I cannot thank you enough. This was a daunting task, and it was an experience that I will never forget. It was one of the most amazing processes I've ever been involved with. Uh, so with that said, I, I just want to thank you all for coming here today, and thank you for allowing me to serve the members of the Milford Area Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. Thank you. At this point in time, surprise, surprise, Barry, we have a few uh, citations and, and, and words of, of thanks as well. Uh, first of all, uh, presented to Barry Feingold, the MAC president and CEO from 2004 to 2013, 
with gratitude and best wishes from your staff and your directors. We'd just like to say thank you, Barry. And if, if uh, the, uh, the very uh, the dignitaries that are here today, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I'll, I'll call up, uh, this, I guess, the senators first. Uh, Senators uh, Ross, uh, Senator Spoka, and Senator Moore, if you wouldn't mind coming up, please. Thank you. Well, first I want to give uh, Barry the uh, weather report from Lima. <laughs> uh, it was 68 this morning, it's going up to 75. Um, the rest of the week is 70 for in the 70s, so I think uh, uh, it'll, be, it'll be nice. We're all going to go. Um, and we have a, a citation from the Senate. Uh, worth a lot more than the House citation. <laughs> and, you know, one of, one of these smart guys is going to say, well, but there's four times members in the House compared to the Senate. Well, in the Senate, we have quality. It's, so we don't have the so numbers. The upper branch. That's right. See. I'm uh, quiet here. <laughs> <laughs> I can never resist. Thank you. Uh, well, don't worry. We will... Let Senator Ross is the last guy to let you down. That's right. I'll tell you. He's an undertaker. Um, anyway, a citation to Barry uh, from Barry Feingold in recognition of your contributions to economic development and your dedicated leadership as president and CEO of the Milford Chamber. And you want to continue or do you want me to finish this? Or? You can finish and then okay, I'll just okay. add a couple of things. All right. Uh, uh, we have to keep all our folks in line here. Um, and, so, so, uh, and so the Senate is wishing you a con a continued success. We hope you get a job down there <laughs> when you go. And, and uh, we, we uh, by the way, if anyone's looking for a house, <laughs> yeah, nice, nice house in Hopedale, great school system, uh, taxes aren't too bad. If we can, if the railroad now helps us get some business into the Draper facility, taxes will go down. So it'll be a good bargain for somebody looking for, how big is the house? Beautiful, Beautiful house. Well, <laughs> just take it, take it from Barry. Um, and it'll, it'll save money for the chamber if you buy the house. Because uh, they, they may get, get out of here sooner and they can get a better ticket to flying south, right? Okay. Um, signed by our President Freeze Murray and offered by uh, Senator Karen Spoka, Senator Richard Ross, and myself uh, on behalf of the Senate. Congratulations. Yeah, I just want to uh, say a few words because I've gotten to know Barry uh, in dealing, I think originally with some of the other Metro West chambers and the, the other local chambers uh, in the area and then through the 495 partnership. And the word that, that comes to, to mind uh, when I think of Barry Feingold is collaborate. Barry is somebody who I've been uh, very thankful to have the opportunity to work with him because he's somebody that really can bring people together, build on, on consensus, and come out with some really wonderful products or results. And that has been my experience in, in over the, the many, many years of, of working with Barry and the Milford Area Chamber. So I do want to say that it is our loss, but it's Peru's gain, whatever you end up doing, whether it be the chamber or anything else, we will miss you. Uh, and all the best and have a tremendous time down there. And I, I do know that there are some chamber meetings that we will need to continue. So we'll, we'll have to just carry them down to Peru. <laughs> Building the trade mission and, and international trade, I think that's a great example, yes, between Finland, Israel, and the next uh, uh, country in our sights just happens to be Peru. So best of luck. Barry, you're just far enough away from Wrentham, uh, but I thought you were actually moving to Peru, Massachusetts, uh, not down to Peru. So uh, congratulations on your great tenure here, on uniting these great communities uh, under one 
a mantra and uh, serving this area well. Uh, I was on the board at the Franklin Area Chamber of Commerce years ago. We then became the uh, at very tri-town and it's gone through several metamorphoses. And I actually left the chamber because I had actually believed that they were trying to become a regional chamber, but uh, it more represented only one interest. And when they went from uh, the center of town and then moved down onto Grove Street and moved further away from the area that I was from, that's when I kind of left the chamber. Or they left me, I guess. <laughs> but it's time for me to get involved again. That's right. Uh, thank you all for coming and paying tribute to him today. He's a guy that certainly deserves a lot of credit for what he's done. Uh, and it's hard to attract people who are the right people for the right job. And you've been that person for the Milford Chamber of Commerce. So thank you very much for your service. <laughs> So um, the senators are going to be taking their, their seats for the, uh, the, the discussion. Um, at this point in time, I'd like to call up the, the representatives that are here, please. Representative Carlos, uh, Fernandez, and Roy. Thank you. We actually let the least senior member of the delegation read the citation. We don't want to take the responsibility. Um, we're going to leave the Senate alone. Um, I just want to make sure you understand when it comes to the quality. It's not that it's about quality in the Senate. It's they knew too many senators would create too much mischief, and that's why they left them at 40. And I just want to remind you that when our wisdom forefathers were making the decision on where money issues would be handled, they didn't give the Senate the authority to start any money matters. They have to start in the House. Now they go to the Senate, the Senate screws around with those things, then it comes back to us to clean up what they did. So <laughs> we're okay with representatives. There are more of us because they need more of us. In any event, this is really about Barry. It's not about us. Um, <laughs> Barry, I've had the chance to work with for as long as he's been here. Well, both like yeah, how long have you been here? I went to your office in 2004. Four, yeah, okay. <laughs> as opposed to, <laughs> as opposed to, <laughs> um, uh, no, I, I knew you, you'd been here a long time, and, and um, from the moment Barry walked through the door, what, the one word that defined him then and continued to define him was energy. Um, you are trying to herd a lot of cats when it comes to a chamber of commerce, as we sometimes do in the legislature. Um, but it's important that you do what you do because you know as business people, your head is down, you're looking forward about your business. Every day it's a grind all day long, all evening long, all week long to try and get done what you have to do. And things can sneak up on you. And, and, and the chamber, I think, has taken on the responsibility under Barry to try and pull together businesses to understand the issues that are common how they can be addressed, bring people in to talk about it. And I, and I think the EPA issue where um, the feds were, uh, have been talking about and continue to talk about uh, imposing regulations that could cost millions and tens of millions of dollars to communities and businesses throughout the district, um, that high profile that was generated here was the result of the Forty Five Partnership and the Milford Chamber under Barry's leadership. And through their collaboration <coughs> with us, we were able to slow that process down dramatically. And that's just one of the many, I think, um, accomplishments that Barry has had during his term. So we will miss you. Um, we could make a lot of jokes as to why 2014 would be a better year. <laughs> but um, we, we really will miss your leadership and your friendship. And um, I hope the friendship remains long and strong. Uh, even while you're down there, because we will be coming to visit you. So thank you very much. So every 10 years uh, after the U.S. Census, the state goes through uh, a process, uh, as does the entire country, of redistricting. And uh, with that redistricting process, um, I picked up the town of Bellingham. Um, I previously represented the town all the way out to Dudley. And they, you know, changed my district quite a bit. Uh, get sworn back in uh, in January, and within a week or two of getting sworn in, uh, Barry had reached out to me and, uh, and made me feel, feel welcome as a new state representative uh, for one of the towns, one of the many towns covered by the MAC, uh, and made a point of actually inviting me out to uh, one of the business after hours 
uh, events that, that the, the next one it was occurring, and also had the foresight to pull my name out of the hat for the 50-50 drawing <laughs> that first night. So it's all hooked now. So, so Barry from the bongo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I never got paid for that, by the way, but that's okay. <laughs> See, we need it. Uh, so, Barry, thank you for, for making me feel welcome as, as a new legislator in the area. And I, I do want to apologize. I have to leave um, uh, now. I've got a bill being heard by a Workforce Development uh, Committee um, as we speak um, to lower the LLC filing fees. So, I, I think many of you may be interested in uh, saving a little bit of money as, uh, the, as you, you uh, seek protections of an LLC. So, I do, do apologize. I have to leave. But I uh, really you know, wish Barry the best, and uh, thank you for all that you've done. Uh, Barry, as the uh, the uh, newbie on the uh, floor, I get the uh, the privilege and the honor of uh, reading the uh, proclamation. But I do want to say um, one of the things that's so important, and I think we we touched on it in the other room, is uh, the ability to work together uh, as a government and businesses, and bringing us all together is probably the most important work that we can do to make. Uh, this community in Massachusetts, a great place to work, live, and raise a family. And Barry, you've uh, reached out to every one of us, including myself, uh, to, to make that connection there. And he really uh, offered some great leadership for this organization, and you surely will be missed. Um, I know that uh, you had contacted me a few weeks ago uh, about being on your WMRC radio show, and I know we had to uh, cancel that, but I am available to do your radio show in Peru uh, on a moment's notice, so uh, just give me the call. Uh, and I have a citation here from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts House of Representatives. Uh, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Barry Feingold in recognition of your dedicated leadership and contributions to economic development as President and CEO of the Milford Area Chamber of Commerce. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors given this 17th day of December 2013 at the State House in Boston. It's signed by Robert A. DeLeo, the Speaker of the House, uh, myself, uh, Representative Fernandes, and Representative Kuros as the state representatives in the area. Congratulations. Um, and so it comes time to, to pass the baton um, <clears throat> as Barry uh, is leaving and as I'm uh, finishing my, uh, my term as chairman. Um, we do have some exciting news to announce. Uh, I mentioned that the, uh, the Recruitment and Selection Committee uh, did put a tremendous amount of effort, time, and, and, and resources, sacrifice into finding a candidate to, to take uh, you know, Barry's place. Uh, not that anybody can take Barry's place, but uh, to certainly lead this member organization into 2014 and beyond. So uh, with, with that, uh, the incoming chairman of the board, Shafali Desai, has some exciting news she would like to share with you all. Thank you, Mike. Um, Good afternoon, everyone. Before I start, um, again, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Shafali Desai. I'm the Vice President with the Milford National Bank, and I'm upcoming chair with the MAC for 2014. So thank you all for coming. And I want to say again, and I want to echo um, Barry's sentiment about Mike Carroll. What a true leader. And thank you so much for your dedication, Mike. On behalf of the um, Board of Directors and MAC members, we really, truly appreciate your service. Thank you so much. And I also want to thank you to fellow directors for the commitment and passion they displayed, as well as work together to find the possible candidate to lead our chamber of yours for years to come. This process was complex, as Mike explained, and we considered a large number of experienced and qualified candidates. Our decision wasn't an easy one, but we all feel that we have found a person who has a perfect blend of both small business and corporate experience. 
as well as proven success in the public service area. We think this combination will give the MAC a dynamic leader that understands the needs of our members and has the creativity to develop solutions that work. I'm pleased to announce this afternoon that Ms. Siobhan Bonson of West Boylston has accepted the position and will come become the next president and CEO of the MAC, effective year 2014. Ms. Bonson has joined us today and I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate and welcome her to the MAC. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Siobhan Bonson. Wow, a little overwhelming. I cannot <laughs> believe the turnout and our politicians. I'm, every time I walk into a room and have met these people, I walk out and say, wow, you are fantastic. This is a fantastic opportunity for you and myself. I really look forward to working with you. I do have a wide variety of background, which is mostly banking, but I've also um, owned my own business and I can identify with the needs of the small business. I worked for large companies as well, being large banks. So I really think I bring a lot of experience, happiness, new ideas. We're gonna try, we're not gonna be successful in all of them, but we're gonna try and we're gonna be very successful together because it's all team building. One of my dreams that I look forward to is if you're at a cocktail party and my thought process is you're talking about your business and somebody next to you isn't a member. We're gonna be looking to say, talk about the chamber, talk about how fantastic they are. And if every person or um, member now can bring one new person in, how fantastic would that be? We're gonna be the place that everybody wants to be. It's there now but let's continue it and be successful. And with your help and all of the energy in this room, we're gonna be there. And I hope to be here next year seeing fantastic results because I know that's what's gonna happen. Thank you for the opportunity. A lot of citations, a lot of, it was good. <laughs> Exhausting. <laughs> All right, I'd also like to invite Jessica to come up, Jessica Strunken from the uh, 495 Partnership. She's gonna give us just a, a brief summary of what's going on. We're gonna get into the formal part now of the program, kind of get everybody uh, acclimated a little here on uh, how 2013 uh, turned out and what we uh, can look forward to in 2014. So Jess is gonna have a few words and then we're gonna open it up really opportunity for some Q&A with a very uh, distinguished panel. Thank you, Barry. Um, I'd like to thank the chamber in general, um, the MAC, as you, you say, you're clearly a very formal group here. I noticed from the opening comments. Um, but, but we've had a, a long-term complementary working relationship and uh, anything from co-hosting events to that EPA effort you heard about earlier. So we look forward to continuing our work with your chamber and with our other affiliate chambers chambers in the, in the region. In particular, I'd like to thank Barry Feingold for his service on Partnerships Board of Directors for many, many years. <laughs> um, his support of our work in the region and his many years of dedicated work on behalf of the MAC. I'd also like to welcome Sh Siobhan. Um, this is very exciting news for the Chamber and we look forward to working with you. For those of you who don't know, the 495 Metro West Partnership is a public-private regional economic development organization, which is a mouthful. Um, we serve 33 communities along 495 and you'd see from the materials I, I put on your chairs um, what that map looks like. And that includes over half a million residents and an employment base of approximately $19 billion a year. 
this region is important to the Commonwealth, and, and our delegation certainly recognizes that and has been very supportive, and we thank them for that. At the Chamber, we recognize the strength in numbers, and this is going to be a kind of theme for us in the upcoming year, whether it's the numbers in terms of our highly educated workforce, our employment base, our, our diversity in types of employers that have carried us through the downturn and kept our unemployment rate uh, very low compared to the rest of Massachusetts as well as compared to the nation. Um, we look forward to continuing our, our work in a number of areas, um, including our work with our five affiliate chambers and also working with our communities. Because of our public-private nature, we do work closely with, with each of our towns on issues ranging from state surplus property, water resources and regulation, to transportation infrastructure. Over the past year, we've um, had a chance to work on the I-495 Route 9 interchange improvement project, um, studying that interchange, and you may think, what does that matter to us in the MAC? Hopefully most of you don't have to deal with that interchange. However, the study also included the 495-90 interchange, which I'm sure many of you deal with um, and, and lament. Um, so the study looked at both of those interchanges. It is now complete. Recommendations are out there for improvements, and the partnership will continue to work with our delegation, with the administration, on ways to fund those projects uh, in the area. We're going to continue um, to monitor the EPA's draft permit for Bellingham, Franklin, and Milford. It has been quiet. Um, for over two years now, which is fantastic, and that's thanks to the delegation's work, the partnership's work, the chamber's work, um, but, but we need to stay vigilant because it can easily come back up, and we're going to continue to work on that. And that, as was noted, uh, does affect private, private property owners in the three communities, or it could affect, hopefully it won't. Um, this past year, we did our first annual regional employer survey, and we did that in coordination with the Worcester Business Journal's Metro West 495 Biz publication, along with Framingham State University. And it showed really positive, um, positive results for how people are viewing the economy currently and in the upcoming year. And so we're going to continue to build upon that survey to identify um, regional employer needs, but also positive trends and maybe some not so positive trends for us to address. Um, over the next year, we're going to be releasing updated demographics on our 33 community region with town by town data to be provided to our municipal partners. We, we see that as an opportunity for the towns to be able to, to promote their properties, to fill vacancies and so on. Um, update to a transportation nightmares project we did over 10 years ago, identifying the most important transportation needs in the region. Back then, it was the need for public transit, and since that study, um, a lot of uh, progress has been made, again, thanks to the work of our, our delegation and others. Um, we're going to continue our institute on local issues through our long-standing committees on energy and sustainable development, transportation and water resources. Uh, continued support for South Station expansion efforts. And again, you may think, how does that matter to the Milford area? Um, South Station expansion is, uh, South Station is at capacity. That affects all the commuter rail lines, including Franklin's line. How can we provide better service on that line, get more reverse commute options, um, more reliable service? Um, part of that is expansion of South Station, so that's an issue that we're paying attention to. Water infrastructure financing is something that will be coming up um, during this session, and, and if anyone's got questions about that, uh, you may hear from our delegation. And continued advocacy for funding transportation infrastructure in our region. Um, and for, on that, I'll turn it over to the, to the delegation and, and, and your questions to them. But if anyone is, is interested in becoming more involved with the partnership or in coming to some of our committee meetings, um, it's, it's open to all of you. So please let me know, and I'm, I'm happy to work with you. Um, on some of the issues that were discussed here or even ones that I didn't mention. So thank you.